Hello everyone and welcome to Life and Nails. Today I am going to be doing this design right here. So if you do want to see how I did it, keep on watching. First of all, we are going to start by fixing this break I have right here from slamming my hand on my bedroom door. Hurt a lot. So just take the side of the file, file straight in there, dust off and then put your acrylic bead ball whatever it's called and blend out the sides of it and gently push that down don't push too hard because you will be getting some acrylic sipping in under your nail and that is just too annoying don't do that so straight uh, over to applying the white polish we are going to apply be applying it on all of our nails. I really don't like this polish. It's not opaque at all. I think I ended up putting three coats. So I will be uh, on the lookout for like an opaque one coat white gel polish. But this is the only one I have for now. So let's just work with it. Once we've put on our thousandth layer, we are going over to the gel design. So just pour out a little bit of gel polish onto a mirror or a plate or wherever you have to hands, taking a small detailer brush and uh, doing some lines. Line in the middle is just going to be straight up, tapering from like, if you see the free edge, there we go, the free edge, it's a little bit thicker. And while it goes up, it just goes a little bit thinner. The lines from the sides are slightly going to be curving inwards. This one's as well. I did end up putting um, another layer of uh, stripes on top of the stripes. I just wanted it to pop more. If you don't feel very confident in doing a uh, stripes with your detailer brush before curing just go over them with a fine detail brush again but soaked in a gel residue wipe sol solution and perfect those lines so now we are just um, no we're not just we are trying to do um what is this called really what is it called the thing mermaids and sea creatures have i want to say nails but it <laughs> Uh, scales! Oh, there we have scales. I'm trying to do some scale design here. While doing them, I felt like it was a complete fail, but looking at them now, I actually like them. So, I guess not that big of a fail. Or maybe. Yeah, well. Every time you do see me go off camera, I'm just doing a quick cure. Five, ten seconds under the lamp, just so the um, gel won't, like, move and go places I don't want it to go yeah I'm strict like that with my polish if you're thinking I'm weird you're right I am I'm sorry it's just the way it's just the way I am yep. yeah I know it's a weird angle bear with me I do have the camera right in front of my face, so I can't actually see what I'm doing most of the time. But I hope that my overhead tripod is arriving soon. It's taking forever. So until then, I'll just film with the camera on my face. In front of my face, not on my, not on my face. And yeah, I probably could have shortened this part a bit, but I didn't. So either watch it or skip. <laughs> Fast forward.
Notre Dame with the 3D thingy we were doing there for 500 years. I'm just taking a pearly white glitter, gel glitter I have, and just putting that over my pointer finger. I could have gone for blue as well, thinking about it now, and maybe putting on some blue gems at the end, but I didn't. Oh well. So I wiped off the tacky layer, and I am going in and buffing in this um, powder. It's not chrome. It's the mermaid or unicorn powder. What is it called? Mermaid or unicorn powder, I don't know. Kind of see-through, goes from pink to blue to, I don't know, what other color, depends on the light. So yeah, I'm just doing that. Buff, buff, buff! Buff! I'm sorry, I, 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 I can't contain myself. I'm actually not sorry, what? Why do I keep saying sorry? I'm not. So, we are going in with the world's thickest gel top coat. I don't like it very much, but I do love it when applying gems. That's the only the only times I do use it when applying gems because it's so thick, they just like sink in there and they won't budge. Once that thing is cured, you're going to need a hammer to take those off. So I <laughs> I'm sorry. So, uh, as I was saying earlier, if I would have had gone for a blue glitter on my pointer finger, I probably would have gone for blue gems instead. That could, like, maybe would have been nice as well. More sea inspired. You know, blue. Water. Water's blue. Yeah. I was thinking about calling this design snails you get it shell nails snails no no yeah but i think i'm just gonna call it under the sea you know i don't know i don't know yeah you do because you know creatures with scales live under the sea and shells are usually under the sea if they don't wash ashore does that even make sense? I don't make sense. So on this finger, I went kind of crazy with the gems. I have a tendency to go crazy with gems, like way too much. And yet I feel like it wasn't enough. Am I the only one with this problem? I don't think so. I, I hope not, at least. Disclaimer, I did not like the gem position on my pinky finger, but once that was, um, I did realize I didn't like it after I actually cured it, and I was like, ah, oh, well, I'll just leave it. Yeah. So, quick cure under the lap, and we are done. Yeah. Ta -da. I hope you liked it. So thank you so, so much for watching. Subscribe, thumbs up, do whatever you want. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.